How do you feel about this then, Chris? <laughs> I don't I don't have one. No comment. <laughs> yeah, it's been a an up and down day for everyone really, with the exception of Thibaut Tricol, who well, he's pretty much got one foot in the final, hasn't he? We're only a day and three quarters through, but he looks the man to beat. He's pulling clear at the top. But it, is been a, it has been a couple of wins for Thornton. Andy Hamilton that will be wanting to steady the ship. Lost last time out. All three to Thibaut Tricol. First leg, it's Andy to throw first. And Game prior on. to that, went down 4-1 to Nagera. So, he needs to stop the rot, doesn't he? He did this yesterday as well, didn't he? He started the day really well, then sort of tailed in that middle part of the day. All of his wins came at the very start. Correct. 60. Well, Thornton seems to be getting stronger as the day 100. goes. That last game, that win over Matt Jackson, was a 91.79, which is... And it was a pressured win as well. Matt Jackson right on his tail all the way throughout, and then he produced a very good leg in the last. Probably really the only leg of the match that he kept Matt Jackson away 81. from having an opportunity, which... Well, it was the only leg he didn't get a dart and a double in was the decider. Eighty-one. We've had a couple of tweets come in. One is from Paul Croucher, who's actually tweeted me on at the Edgar Five Hundred One and said, "Can Crabtree, who is playing in Group C, I believe, later on this week, is yet to acquire a nickname? Maybe we can help him out with it. Of course, we can." Well, I hope he's small, because then I'd call him the Big Apple. Would you call him the Big Apple? The Big Apple. One hundred. Well, yeah. It works both ways, I think, but. Got a little bit more. It's a bit like Martin Schindler, really. The wall. I do like that sort of British humour. I remember I always bring this story up because it's my favourite one. We was in a, a garden in Germany. 60. And was with Vincent van der Meer, who's quite a small bloke. And his nickname used to be Massive. <laughs> and he didn't quite get that it was British humour. So 60. he was stood there and debating for ages. He said, but I'm small, man. He's like, I'm small. He's like, why am I massive? And then there was a really big bloke. And he's like, he should be massive. He's big. <laughs> and we're like, no, he would be tiny and you're massive. And yeah, it, I don't think we got a throw in the end. No, comedy doesn't. 120. Work. Robert, you require Especially 160. The British sense of humour. Like 60. Such of sarcasm. And do you require 40? <laughs> sarcasm I'm and a irony. big fan. Yeah. Game shot on the first leg. Andy Stark. Andy Hamilton. For Andy Hamilton. 16 dart hold. Second leg. It's Robert to throw first. Game on. Andy won this tie yesterday. 4-2. You're looking to do the double. 180. Other ideas. One hundred and twenty. What's your take on other people using other people's nicknames? There was, there's one recently, isn't there? Um, Eighty-three. Louis Williams is the Prince of Wales. He actually mm. spoke to Richie Burnett about that before using it what? as well. I was the, the wizard, which was Colin Osborne before Simon Whitlock, and then of course the most controversial one, 85. former world number one Alan Warner, the Iceman. Is now, of course, Gessie Price's nickname, but Gessie Price was called the Iceman when he played rugby. Due to those safe hands, I presume. And when it comes to, if you put 
Simon Whitlock. 136. Robert, you require Which one of them two is the wizard? You're always going to pick Simon Whitlock. Yeah. It was more suitable in that situation. Robert Thornton on a 153. Shot on the second what leg. a finish. Beauty. Robert Thornton. 180 in the leg as well. And a 153 checkout for a 12 dart hold and a level game. Third leg, it's Andy to throw that first. That one's going to go game into on. the highlights. Well, we said Robert Thornton's kind of warming to the task as this goes on. He had, in his words, a disastrous day yesterday, day one. It didn't start great, but it's warming up here. 177. Andy Hamilton, good as a max there, the 177. It keeps the nine dart hope alive as well. Andy Hamilton was involved in 95. that game earlier with Thibaut Tracol, game number seven, when I said that potentially is going to be the one that hits the Moda Super Series channel later as game of the day. These two have got a lot to say about that. Right now they have. Come on, Andy. 140. 83. Andy Hamilton has played coming up to 60 matches so far in the Super Series, and his best averages produced is a 100.74. That is under serious threat at the moment. 54. Well done, Matt. 96. Robert Thornton. And you require 130. Career best. 109, is it? A 109.31. Pretty tidy. 91. What's your best ever recorded average? Can you remember it? Anywhere. Honestly, 54. I can't, I can't remember it. I know my best this year, I think, is a 107. Wow. 60. What was that? And he requires 76. Gates, I think. No, it was against Kaifang Lang. The Leonard Gates, I think, was like a 105 or so. I had a really good day. 37. Oh, dear. Robert, you require 167. Well, Hamilton's at a 167. I'm going to say, can Thornton do one against him? 95. And do you require 39? To continue the trend of holds of throw. 18 dart leg in the end, but it's ended the hopes of a 14 dart leg in the end, but it's ended the hopes of a fourth oh, leg. It's Roberts oh, to throw first. Ended Game the on. hopes completely. It's still averaging 100 after three legs. We completed nearly 96. 300 of those points in the first five darts. Yeah. It took him 13 darts to complete the other 200. One hundred and thirty-four. He is playing very, very well here. Thornton's not too shabby at ninety-five and change. Yeah, really, really good standard here. The one five three finish as well from Robert Thornton to get his chalk on the board. But Andy Hamilton on these front sort of six to nine darts. 140. Doing the damage. Can peak Andy Hamilton on those opening shots. 81. That relentless pressure has crafted an error out of Robert Thornton. But Andy now has the darts here. Hamilton, one of the players that will be eligible for the Seniors 57. World Championship come February. Yep. Well, Sydney was a losing finalist, of course, in a in a Worlds to Adrian Lewis, wasn't it? You would expect he would. Ninety nine, and you require one hundred and seventy. Be one of those that gets an invite. He certainly 
playing well enough, but and I sort of feel that Andy Hamilton would be more suitable to that. Yeah. I think he's going for this. He's just checked. He sees Thornton on the one three two. He's got to. He's got to go. He's took the one six seven this 145. week. One hundred and forty five. Robert, you require on this occasion. Robert Thornton took a one five three in this match. The first time today, 92. missing the second ball, and, and, you and again, 25. it was a really nice ball. It was an inviting ball. Time for two eights, for three one. Game shot on the fourth leg. And a break of throw Andy there Hamilton. for Andy Hamilton, and just to jump straight back to that point I was making about Andy Hamilton, where I think he'd be better suited Fifth to, leg. It's Andy to the throw format first. of the Senior game World on. Championship. If we look at his opening game yesterday. He averaged 95.38 and beat Matt Jackson 4-1. Today, opening game, averaged 93.99 and beat Martin Adams 4-1. Now, instead of having to go back and get ready to play more games, he'll go home and get to come back again. And one thing we can see is he can certainly prepare for that first game correctly. Yeah. And that will come down to experience of playing so much TV darts over the years. And it is, it's... It, it is much easier, you, you sort of, especially when you're on first, uh, which he, he was yesterday, wasn't he? Was he on first yesterday? Yeah, first game yesterday. Yeah, second so game you, today. you know exactly what time you're on. You get your prep exactly right. And that seems to work for him. 180. Wow. This is turning out to be some game. Both players over the 100 average now. We're at 180 for Robert Thornton. Puts him over the top. Andy Hamilton on 105. Remember, the best we've seen from Andy Hamilton 100. in any version of this format is a 100.74. Right now, he is well on course to better that. 127. Thornton. And he required 127. the trouble seven to leave tops. But this is to win it in 12. And Trump, his previous PB. One hundred and fifty. Super recovery. Robert, you require the average. You're only gonna get one dart. You should have got two. Game shot. Doesn't the need two. He only needs one. Robert, Robert Thornton. Thornton. Why didn't you leave tops yesterday? Because he's hitting it with good purpose. Sixth leg. It's Robert to throw first. And that is a breaker throw for Game Robert on. Thornton. Yeah, it's an instant break back. Super leg of darts from both in the last one. 58. Thornton going out in 12. Hamilton leaving a double after 12. When you've got the darts and you're trying to win a game and you've got thrown first, you just think to yourself, 15 darts. You can go out in 15, it forces your opponent to do 12, which isn't the 70. most likely outcome. It doesn't happen that often. What we saw from Robert Thornton there, it can only be described as class. 100. Right, you're looking at yesterday, we had 111 from Dracol, two 13s from Adams, a 12 from Nagara with that 170. Hamilton chipped in with two 13s, Matt Jackson a 13. 134. Two 14s, so that shows you how rare the four visit or less leg is. 140. Statistically, right now, this is the game of the week. Never mind the game of the day. 100. With that in mind, you've got to say as a neutral, you'd like to see it go all the way to a last leg shootout. 59. Well, it's because we're a bit sadistic. 140. It's looking likely that is going to go to that shoot. Yep. Again, after 12 darts, Robert Thornton down to a nice, simple two dart finish. He's not missed a dart at double yet, Robert Thornton. He's only had two darts at double. One of them were at the end of a 1 5 3 combination. And Hamilton not been too shabby on the outer ring himself. Three from six. 
So every Nine. single stat. Robert, you require 63. That shows quality. Fifty-one. Just for a potential fourteen data, then a fifteen. Fortunately, rarely Hamilton knocked down to a finish after twelve himself. Hamilton's not going to want any drama here. He's going to get this mopped up with a first or second dart. Robert, he doesn't want to be 12. coming inside and chasing down the threes and finding it last dart in hand. Game shot on the seat Good dart. One on the one. One in. No drama. Back to back legs. Seventh and final leg. It's Andy to throw first. Back -to -back Game legs on. for Thornton levels the match. And it started with a 16 dart hold, then that 153 12 darter for Thornton, and then back to back legs in 18 and 14 for Hamilton, then 12 and 96. 17 for Thornton. Well, Chris Murphy said, I've got to ask you for your thoughts. Who takes this one? 134. Um, Only doing what I'm told. I don't know. Give me another minute or so. You would think on throw. 137. It would be Hamilton. Does have his tail up. 60. Thirty-nine points plus these, but unless he finds another trouble twenty, he's gonna have to switch. Oh, beautiful dart placed in the open bed. One hundred and forty. To force that one in between the two, but he'll take a one forty. Well, it's exactly what we said, wasn't it? You look at a fifteen dart leg when you've got the throw. One hundred and forty. He'd be more than happy here with a setup play that would leave him a double after twelve. Exactly that. Love two trouble twenties and double four. We love another one of those and double ten. Well, he went forty two thirty two. Here you go twenty for top. Eighty eight. Robert, you require one hundred and sixty seven. Well, he's done exactly what he did in the last one. Left a double after twelve, which is quality darts. Twenty eight. Like Robert Thornton found some absolute and you require forty to get that. Break a throw. Can't do it this time. Andy will return. Tops to wrap this one up. Game that shot was a and quality Andy affair Hamilton. there from Andy Hamilton. A 13 dart to wrap that up. And a career best in this format for Andy Hamilton. That previously was 100.74. He now ups that to 103.27. Robert Thornton played his part there in what was a quality affair. Both players over the 50% on their checkouts. A massive 153 checkout for Robert Thornton. I suspect we'll see more of that game later on the Moda Super Series YouTube channel as Game of the Day. But we've got some more games to come, so we might be giving that award out a little bit early. Martin Adams and Matt Jackson up next. They'll have something to say about that.
Welcome back. I'm not surprised you're still watching after that real tungsten tear up between Andy Hamilton and Robert Thornton. What a game it was. We'll just dissect the stats for that game because it was Andy Hamilton's best performance in the group. Hamilton now moving up onto 10 points level with second place Jesus Nogueira, six behind Thibaut Treacle. Martin Adams, Robert Thornton on six, and Matt Jackson on four, but looking to join them in the next game, he faces Martin Adams. As I was saying, Andy Hamilton averaged 103.27 in that 4-3 success against Robert Thornton, who himself averaged almost 97. A really good game of darts. A 1-5-3 checkout in there for the Thorn as well, but wasn't enough to stop the Hammer running right and posting his best ever average at the Super Series. I mentioned before it was a, a Premier League game 10 years ago, and it had that standard about it as well, didn't it? Well